Well, this is my third attempt at trying to record this video. Um, I, unfortunately, I've been having some technical issues. Um, this was meant to be a bit of a semi-review likes and dislikes of the Lone Rider motor bags. Um, but I think it's probably easier more to do a bit of a comparison to the Boomot Extra Marder Panniers, which I've also done a, a review of. Um, that I had previously. Um, I suppose the first question is, why did I go? Why did I get the Lone Riders? What what happened to the Boomots when I got my when I got my 2024 R1300 GS? Um, at the time, there wasn't any options for mounting uh, any sort of panniers that previously fitted the R1250 GSA. Um, so I sold the Boomots, expecting that there would be some option in the future and they would be even-sided panniers, which kind of has happened. But then I didn't expect that Lone Rider and a few other companies would then bring out uh, some pannier racks of their own, which will actually take uh, any of the panniers that previously fitted um, the R1250 GS uh, you know, racks, the aluminium racks. So, um, kind of made a bit of a, of a mistake there. Um, I had previously considered getting the Lone Riders, um, went for the Boomots mainly for the price, if I'm honest with you. Um, really, in, really enjoyed them, but I couldn't bring myself to buy the Boomots again, um, only having sold them previously um, and losing a bit of money on them. So, time for a change. Yeah, effectively. Um, the main reasons I chose the Lone Riders over any over any other brand, I didn't. I did consider the BMW Vario panniers, the new ones, uh, but they weren't available, um, which uh, in hindsight was probably a good thing, considering a lot of the issues that they had with them. Um, but I've had these Lone Rider panniers now for uh, about three, four months. Um, and I've covered about four and a half thousand miles on them, uh, which was mainly a uh, slightly longer than three week trip down to Greece and back, um, followed by a trip straight afterwards to Scotland. So I think I can say that I've um, used them enough to be able to give them uh, a sort of fair rating uh, compared to compared to the Boomots. Uh, these have been ridden through. Uh, you know, torrential rain, you know, scorching sunshine from sort of as, as low as 12 degrees centigrade all the way through to nearly 30. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm reasonably qualified to give my uh, opinion on them. Um, so, yeah, the main reason I went for these over any, any others was I always liked them. I, I enjoyed the, you know, modularity of them. Um, being able to uh, sort of attach the the extra bags to them, which was one thing that I wish the Boomots had had. Um, you know, obviously, they have a bottle holder each end, um, which is you know great, and I did use them. But in fairness, the um, I I felt like the second bottle holder on each of them was kind of a waste. Um, so the main reason, f the main reason for sort of choosing these over, over any, over any other brand was the modularity. Um, hence I went for the extra six liter, you know, dry bags, um, which I got there. I did nearly go for the micro bags, but I went for the six liter ones anyway. Um, the ability to lock them, um, was, was another factor. Um, the semi-rigidness of them, not so much from the point of view of, you know, crashing and, you know, it, it sort of returning, uh, to shape more from the fact that one of the things with the Boomots I found was because they didn't really maintain their shape when empty, sometimes it was kind of hard to get the inner bag in. And I ended up having to sort of fold this, you know, out a bit, you know, over in order to to sort of make it a little bit more, you know, rigid. So I, I felt that these might be a little bit more, you know, easier to pack, uh, which in fairness, they are. Um, also the design of them, 
arguably, I think they look sort of prettier, which I realise isn't necessarily um, a big consideration. But those were the main motivations, you know, obviously having the Molly system uh, was a big, you know, element of it. You know, Lone Rider do their own uh, uh, accessories. I did buy the Lone Rider bottle holders, but I didn't find them particularly good. Um, mainly because the bottles that I use um, were just too loose. Um, and I felt like they might um, actually bounce out. So these are just, uh, I bought a couple of bottle holders off of, you know, Amazon because it's a Molly system, it went straight on and I can obviously tighten that up. Uh, and that's been no issues what's whatsoever. So what I like about them, um, obviously the locking element of them, uh, both the Boomots and, uh, the Lone Riders, they obviously, the actual, the actual bags themselves, they obviously lock onto the panniers, uh, the pannier racks even. Um, so very similar in that sense, but obviously these can actually lock here. Um, obviously I know if you had a big knife, you could, you could probably cut this open, um, uh, but it gives that little bit of extra security. Um, obviously, as I've already stated, modularity, being able to take these off, you know, swap them out for other things, depending on the use case. Um, the semi-rigid element, obviously, that's one of the reasons I bought them. And yes, I do find them easier to pack. Um, it's not night and day difference, but on my recent trip, I think I stayed in 12 different hotels um and so i was obviously constantly packing and i'm packing uh the bags uh build quality um the boom mots certainly weren't in any way shape or form poor quality but these just take it to a, to another level um the, the actual the way in which they're sort of built, uh, the attention to detail, you know, every little detail is incredibly well crafted, you know, from, from the, the, the actual bolts, the materials used, uh, the, 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 you know, spares that you, that you, you actually get, you get tools with it. Um, just really well thought or thought really well thought through, um, an excellent build quality. Um, so that's what I like. Things that I'm not necessarily as keen on, the semi-rigid element can have its drawbacks. Um, you can take the, the inner board. There's like a sort of plastic board in here that runs from about here all the way down and up and it just Velcros in. I found it a little bit tricky to get in at, at first. Um, so these can't, you know, fold down quite as quickly and easily as the Boomots. That may not, may or may not be uh, a concern for anyone. But uh, in ideally for me, it would be nice if I could fold them down quickly um, and not be able to leave them on on the bike permanently. Um, the locking element of it to the pannier rack. Now, I never had an issue with this on the Boomots, and this may be user error, but both of the panniers, oh, by the way, these motor bags are they're the standard 31 litre and 38 litre. Um, this is the 38 litre. The problem I find with these, both sides, is this locking mechanism. When it's actually on uh, the rack there, and you at, you at, you actually lock this down, and it sort of clicks into place, and you turn the key, there is a little there is a little tab inside there. You might not be able to see it that actually slides over to lock it, and for some reason on both sides it is a nightmare. Um, I've tried every everything I need everything I can to move it around and it just never seems to this part you know really doesn't seem to sit down properly in place the first time and I really have to force it down now whether that's because I went for the powder coated black options which I, I believe Lone Rider have taken off sale 
as they had some problems with the finish, which as you can see, I have had. Um, that's not me being ham fisted. That is purely the metal elements of this, you know, rubbing against it. I don't know. Uh, they were kind enough to offer me the silver, um, I think, electroplated ones, which I think are more durable. But this being a triple black, I wanted the black ones. So uh, that was my choice. Um, the, the other main thing that I think, it's not that I don't like it, it, but it took a bit of getting used to. And sometimes if it's raining, you're in a hurry, it can be a bit frustrating is the way they actually close. Now, on these, you, you actually fold the roll bag over, I think it's three times, close this clamp, and then it basically shuts down. Now, I've seen a lot of people riding with them with this bit up here. Now, whether that's because they've encountered this same issue, I don't know. But the issue I encountered the first few times I tried to use it was, when this was actually slid in, that little pin there in there, I couldn't get it to slide back far enough that those two holes lined up and I could get the bad lock through. Um, I, I tried everything. In the end, it turned out that, um, and this is, this is probably me not reading the instructions properly, but this bit of excess here uh, and this, they have to be properly under that that tab there if they're not right under and sat right under this never goes in properly now obviously that's by design um but i didn't find it quite as easy and straightforward to get the hang of as you know closing the, closing the boom ops up which is just a simple case of closing the velcro rolling them down uh, and then putting these over and obviously tightening it up. So it's a dislike, but now I'm used to it, it's probably fine. What would I change, um, if, if anything, about these? Um, I think the price is probably the obvious one. I'm not saying that they're not worth the price tag. They are over-engineered, probably. Um, it, they are exquisite. However, they are double the price uh, near enough of the, of the Boomots. And can I honestly say that they give double the amount of value? I don't know. For me, perhaps not. Um, I've never crashed in them, used them off-road. Um, so perhaps I'm not the best person to comment on that. But they are pricey. Um, are they quality? Absolutely. But they are pretty expensive um that is the only sort of you know you know gripe that i'm that i might have um would i buy them again 100 percent. having said that if i still had if i still had the boomots i would be more than happy with them i think the other thing that i might not change it, maybe it falls into the dislike there were a couple of times last year when I went away on my old bike, which was a 1250 GSA, um, where we just, me and, me and my partner, we just had, uh, we just hadn't packed the, the inner bags as efficiently as uh, we had previously. And with the Boomots, you could kind of, you know, go, as long as you got one or two good rolls on it, you could just you know, roll it down, you know, squish these down. But obviously, in order for this to be secure, you have to, it has to be rolled over uh, the proper three, three rolls and secured there. So you are kind of restricted to um, this overall, you know, shape, which isn't the end of the world. Um, maybe I'm not using them properly. Maybe there is a way of doing that. But you know, generally very happy with them. Um, like I say, I've ridden through torrential rain and uh, although water did get inside, um, they were sat outside in Germany in the rain for, for sort of 12 hours. But there is, and I don't know if I can actually do it one handed, but there actually is uh, a place on the bottom for, for water to act to actually water to actually come out 
Um, ah, yes, there. So any water that did make its way inside did obviously drain out. Um, and the inner bag was absolutely fine. My luggage never got wet once. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. They might or might not be helpful um, to anyone. I think if you're on a budget, the Boomots will be absolutely fine. If you want the flexibility, the modularity, then I would absolutely buy these if your budget can stretch to it.